Alright, so now we have another projectile motion problem. The problem is, a basketball player is trying to make a half-court shot, releasing the ball at the height of the basket. Assuming that the ball is launched at 48 degrees, 11 meters from the basket, what speed must the player give the ball? Now, for this problem, we're going to use this special range equation. If you want to see how this equation is derived, uh, click the little annotation on it. And um, that will send you to a video where I explain how you get this range equation. But for this problem, we're just going to accept that this uh, range equation works and exists and applies to this problem, right? So let's draw a diagram, shall we? So our basketball player, let's say this is our basket here. It's our basket. And the little person releases the ball at the height of the basket. So here's our ball. I don't know how to draw a basketball, so oh boy. Um, is it like that? Yeah, that looks right-ish. So it's launched at 48 degrees, 11 meters from the basket. So it's going to follow a path kind of like, kind of like a parabola. Like this. There. So, we're trying to find here what speed must the player give the ball. So that means what is the speed that the player the um, player has to give to the ball. So our velocity initial. Now you could um, attempt to use the horizontal and vertical components of the motion equations, but that would be very complicated. So it's easier to just plug stuff into this. Um, this equation and then solve backwards for v initial, right? So, actually, let's write out all the things we know. So, we know that our range or our, uh, our uh, dx is 11 meters. We know that our angle measurement, theta, is 48 degrees. And we also know that this, this graph, this g here, is gravity, right? And gravity is always 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay? So, now we can solve backwards. Woo! So let's plug stuff in. Um, 11 meters equals V initial squared. We don't know that. Times sine 2 times 48 degrees all over 9.8 meters per second squared. So, where is my calculator? So the first thing we can do is we multiply uh, both sides by 9.8. So 11 times 9.8, we get 107.8, and let's see here, this would be in uh, meters, meters squared divided by second squared times sine of 2 times 48 degrees. And then we would divide this number by sine of 2 times 48. This number divided by that. We end up getting 108.394 meters squared divided by second squared equals velocity initial squared. Then we take the square root of that and we get Velocity initial equals 10.411 meters per second. So, you can see that this equation uh, is really helpful in these types of problems where you have um, three of the four variables in the range equation and you're trying to solve for uh, the last fourth one. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!